Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to today's video guys. And today guys, I'm going to go ahead and be showing you how to fix distorted audio in GarageBand. This is a very simple thing to do, so make sure to watch the quick and easy video till the very end and follow my steps correctly so you can make sure this works the same for you and you can do this yourself. But yeah guys, let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up the official GarageBand application on your mobile phone if you have not already. If you do not have the application, just go to the App Store and download it and after opening it up, you'll be greeted by this main page right here, which is the home page of the application where you can find all the instruments that you can play, you can get started recording yourself and so on. So let's go ahead and see how you fix distorted audio so guys the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up the main recording menu so you can open up any of the instruments it works the same it's going to open up the same menu and going to open up the audio recorder right here and after opening it up guys now you'll be, you'll be greeted by this record menu where you can get started recording you can get started with importing your files and so on so let's go ahead and open up our tracks right here and upper left corner it's going to open up this edit mode where we can see all the tracks we have created and now let's say that the tracks we have imported or recorded sound distorted we do not like how they sound this is how you can fix that basically guys your effects that are going to enable you to fix this are right here in the upper left corner you can see next to the fx button we'll have the sliders option the sliders option is going to open up the track settings right here where as you can see if you scroll down you can go ahead and manage your echo and reverb so you have your plugins and equalizer right here that are going to enable you to manage your uh, equalizer for the music and you have your master effects to manage the echo you can go ahead and add echo if you want and so on to manage the distorted audio introduce it so you have your track volume alongside that you also have your effects option right here where you can go ahead and manage the treble bass to get your desired effect and reduce the distortion in your audio but yeah guys basically that is it how to do it so i hope this video was helpful if it was make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel see you guys thanks for watching take care and bye